Uh, I realized that my audience must be a very strange combination of, uh, of people. Turn on the anime girl. I'm not turning on the fucking anime girl. It's all day me all the time today. I was gonna say, uh, my, my streaming audience is a strange subset of people who like to, to watch Catboy's, uh, do math but also weld. Um... I was gonna, you know, there will be a day where I weld on stream. Today is not that day. I'm sorry if you thought I was actually gonna weld on stream. But we are going to be doing welding things, and I'm gonna be taking my, um, uh, my welding midterm on stream. Uh, I don't know how long it is. I don't think it's that long. I also don't think it's that hard, but we're just gonna go through and we're gonna go on an adventure together, chat. We're gonna learn about welding. Uh, well, I already know about welding, so I guess I will kind of help you guys learn about welding. Who like to watch Catboys, full stop. You know, that's true, actually. I like to watch Catboys. I wish I was welding. Um, one one day, uh, I, will, I will hand cam weld. Except you guys will be blinded. But I... Actually, is that true? Can I... I don't know if I'm allowed to, like, stream in the shops here because other people work in the shops. But maybe I'll do- oh my god, okay, maybe I'll do one with my friend. Once- once he gets red tagged, um, we have a tag system. Oh sh- I'm not- never mind, I actually can't weld yet in the shops. I don't have my yellow tag. You have to, like, level up. You have to do enough shop hours to be able to weld. You don't know how much and how long I wanted to weld on my own? If you've never tried welding, it is really cool if um, your teacher is good at teaching you, or if you know what you're doing. Neither of which <laughs> I had the luxury of having. My teacher, um, I got slightly better. I showed, wait, okay. I can show my latest welds, because I showed them yesterday on stream, but this is more, this is more applicable right now. Where did I put them? Did I not? Where did I send this to myself? Let me see, let me see chat. One of my friends did welding and he told me it was a nightmare. Um, it's- it's kind of like, um, I was gonna say it's kind of like gay sex. Uh, it's not like gay sex. <laughs> no, it's, um... I really would love to do it on stream, but I would like to be, like, a little bit better at it. Um... You're suspended on Twitter? Why are you suspended on Twitter? Um That's sad. Okay, let me let me let me show you guys this. Lots of question marks. It's not it's not like that, okay? It's it I mean it a little bit. You know, you literally you wouldn't understand. You haven't welded. <laughs> 
Um, where is this? Okay, get rid of this one. We're doing we're doing this one today. Okay, so this is my most recent welds. We did um, brazing, which is on the left, which is where you take um, bronze flux and you melt it. And then the ones on the left are TIG aluminum that I actually managed to weld together. And I had to take a picture of them because I, I um, didn't get to keep these and I think they're really pretty and I'm sad because we're literally going to rip them to shreds. Actually, I'm going to go look at training workshops right now. Yeah, this one was really good. Okay, the thing that I don't understand about TIG is uh, that's um, tungsten inert. Uh, is it tungsten inert cast welding? No, the other one. Wait, is it tungsten? TIG welding. I'm pretty sure it's tungsten inert gas. Yeah, tungsten inert gas welding. Um, it is like kind of like it sets things on fire. And I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Like the arc, it's okay. How do I explain this? The arc isn't even that long. Like I'm not like getting long arcs. It just literally is fire everywhere. And I don't know if that's right or if it's just the machine I was working on it. But anyway, yeah, these are like the prettiest welds that I did. Um, this was with the oxy fuel on the right. That was what we were talking about last time, chat. Remember? So yeah. I have a bunch of, of PDFs up. We're just gonna like go through and kind of talk about them. Let me like crop this a bit more. And then we're just gonna fucking send it and we're gonna... We're gonna um, figure it out. Oh, I don't wanna crop this. Oh, I don't, it doesn't really matter if I crop it. You know, canvas, all my homies hate canvas. Canvas is better than like some other stuff that I've used. Um, I like it more. Okay, can you even read this? Let's fucking zoom in on this. Also, this lab manual has so much, has so many errors. <laughs> okay. Okay, melting temperatures. 2800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like twice-ish aluminum. Brazing is above 840, which is not too bad. That's oxy fuel. Uh, well, we use oxy fuel for it. Um, kindling temperature is 1600. What if I got welded? Well, my teacher spent uh, like three hours telling us all the awful things that could happen um, if you get welded. One of the ones that I remember is um, he was talking about this guy who had his mouth open when he was welding and a piece of slag got in his mouth and burned through his tongue and then he had a hole in his tongue. So bad things happen if you get welded. <laughs> yeah. Based? Not based. He was in an incredible amount of pain. Um, okay, out of this entire list, plasma arc is like so scary. Plasma is... But what if I was metal? Oh, oh, oh. No, okay, the tongue heals really fast, so like it it grew back, sort of, but he was not having a good time. It did not grow back that fast. Plasma cutting is is so scary. What if I was metal? I think it would be very warm and nice, unless if somebody did a bad job and then I was the the um heat affected area and then someone smashed me with a hammer and then I would be broken apart and that would be not very fun. But other than that, I think it would be lovely. Plasma is very scary. A, th a thou uh, ten thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Um yeah, here look. Welding is uniquely dangerous in that it can assault all of your senses. <laughs> everything you can get burned you can get radiation burns you can get caught on fire you can get metal on your skin that just instantly goes down to your bone fumes <laughs> it's it's kind of like the worst thing we've invented hot materials can discolor cook and even remove your flesh how fun this is not gonna be on the on the thing we don't need to talk about how you can get metal in your eye and then your eye just blows up. It doesn't blow up. Um, okay, yeah. This is just... 
Yeah, your clothes can catch on fire and then stick to you, and then you can be covered in burning oil. Hoppy that kills you instantly. Actually, yes. If a bottle were to fall over and become punctured, or more likely shear the regulator off the top, that bottle would become an uncontrolled missile. <laughs> That's one way to get a tan. Uh, he was talking about this one guy who welded without a uh, face shield for a while and whose entire face got so sunburned that um, he was just peeling off layers of skin. What if I was that bottle and I became an uncontrolled missile? I think I would have a pretty good time. Um, I think I would probably hit somebody and kill them though, accidentally. <laughs> okay, this is probably not what this is on. This is helmet settings, because different types of welding are brighter. Um, yeah. MIG is brighter, but I did not change that. Mm. We just keep it at like 10 and like, ah, everything's kind of 10. Okay. Materials can be joined in over 100 different welding procedures. Wow, we're, there's so many of them. Okay, so electrical arc welding uses um, heat generated by the arc. That's like a lot of welding. Just to see how many crazy and hot ways there are to join materials. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so we use the low alloys um, because they are not expensive, and also um, what happens when you weld is like you're basically like kicking out the carbon because you're getting it hot enough to melt the steel. So the carbon kind of like it gets free and kind of floats around. And if you have too much carbon, then like it doesn't really go where you want it to. So we have like a very small amount of carbon. Um, yeah, so it will lead to many brittle structures around the weldment and heat-affected zones. This means that if you weld something and then you instantly stick it in water or you cool it down really fast around the weld, the material gets um, shittier. Uh, like, it gets brittle and stuff. So it's, you want to, like, you want to either heat up the metal before and then weld on it, or you want to cool the metal down slowly after. Um, but... It's not exactly easy to do. So usually, like, metal won't fail at the... Uh, if you're stressing, like, a joint, it won't fail at the joint. It'll fail, like, around the joint. Um, yeah, so it'll commonly fail at the toe or the has area. The toe is, like, where the weld comes together with the material. Yep. Comes... Okay, this is literally exactly what we are just talking about. <laughs> Electro slag welding. Wait, what the fuck does- okay. Large grain size and seal have been found in some forms of welding to have an effect on the final strength of material. Grain number is a gro direct function of the amount of time the re material remains elevated above number here. <laughs> oh, this teacher's <laughs> silly. Okay. Yeah, so with, um, with aluminum, what happens with aluminum is when it goes into air, it instantly oxidizes, which means that it kind of films like forms like a skin on itself. And um, when you weld, we have to use specific processes to weld aluminum because we want to um, clean that surface off because that surface has a higher melting point than the actual aluminum. So what happens is you melt through the skin and they just blow a hole right through the aluminum when you get past it if you don't clean it off. So we clean it off, like, by running electricity through it. Um, okay, different types of gas. Yeah, we use argon. Other people use other stuff, but, like, it depends on, it depends on the gas. Uh, cool. Let's see, what else, what else have we got in here? Joint types. Oh, these are gonna. This is. This is. Look at this. Look at this chat. This is right here. This. This is welding. This is welding. Look at these beautiful. Look at these beautiful joints. I really like this one. This one is like 
That's like curvy. 100 welding procedures. Can I collect them all? I do not want to do all the welding procedures. <laughs> there are too many of them. Okay. So. T-joint is when you have like a, a T. Left joint is overlapping stuff. Corner joint is you have to like add a bunch of material. Butt joint is like your basic ass joint. And then edge is when you have like two skinny things and you're welding on the skinny part. Okay. Weld types indicate uh, what the weld will be shaped like. For example, in the T-joint, we have two pieces coming together at right angles. The joint type is a T-joint. The weld type is a fillet weld. So when it's a triangle, when it looks like a triangle, that's a fillet weld. Yeah, fillet weld and butt weld. Um, let's see. A groove welds happen when a joint has open space. These can happen in natural bends above the edge joint, which is the... this one. Uh, bead welds are surface welds that have a convex shape. These welds have built up tops and are measured by how oh, high. Oh, here we go. This is, this is this is a really good image. So yeah, bead, fillet, and groove. Just depends on like the stuff you're putting together. <laughs> Oh, and that's it. Yeah. So, like, a plate with this, with, like, a bead, sometimes it goes all the way through. Sometimes it just kind of stays on top like this. Like, when you're tack welding stuff, just to kind of get it together, um, you can, you might be, like, just holding something together with a, with a little, little bead. Let's see. Wire, okay, this is, this is where we get to the good stuff, chat. This is where we get to the good stuff. Okay, there are five primary methods. Short circuit transfer, globular, which is, we're not, we're don't, just, globular is kind of funny, silly. Spray, pulse spray, and cold metal transfer. So, like, 80% of the time you're doing stuff with short circuit transfer. Um, this is um, when you... It's literally basic, basically like every single welding you've ever done, um, unless you've done something specific. Because MIG and TIG are under this. Um, TIG is also uh, GTAW, which is like the gas metal, or GMAW, or GTAW, gas metal arc welding. All this stuff. Um, this is the one that like, it makes an arc, basically. Um, and then... Ugh, let's see. How do we how, how do we explain what happens? Short short circuit transfer is like it's um using this property that like allows metal to like move from one place to another at like a certain temperature. So because we create like an arc, um that's gonna allow us to like kind of help the metal move along. So yeah, what, what you would change is, like, normally you change the voltage and the amperage because, um, depending on, like, what you're doing, um, you're probably just going to be changing the voltage for everything, too, um, because the amps kind of, like, come from the power. The machine will probably set the power, um, and then what if you change the volts, you're changing the amps at the same time. Um, so yeah, so it can only be used on materials that are a fourth of an inch thick or less. Um, let's see. This is is the most commonly misused process and under uh, misunder least understood by many. Um, yeah, so a piece of wire contacts the surface. The piece of wire heats up because of the. Uh, the electrons moving through it and the voltage drops, current rises, um, and it pinches off. Then an arc reforms uh, between the wire and then this goes forever. This is like, this is when you have like a thing that's like shooting out wire, basically. Um, 
I wanna... Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty, this is pretty good. Um... It's just kind of shooting stuff out, and then it's making, like, a circuit, and then it's dropping off the wire. And then it, the, the wire kind of falls off onto the plate. And then it gets hot, and then the material, um... The material does this. Yeah, so, and then also, like, um... What you want to do is, if you can weld from... What is it? If you can weld from right to left, that's better or like left to right if you're left-handed because what you're doing is you're not like the way the depending on the way that you hold a gun like the gun if you hold it in your right hand and you're like pointing left with it um you won't be like heating up the material twice you'll have like cold material um where you're going like forward into so it makes it like better and it's less likely to burn holes through stuff because holes happen if it gets too hot um, globular is like the mistake, the mistake of welding, where it starts to... I did this like so much in when I was welding um, TIG with copper, which is where you just like heat up. TIG is not a wire feed process or uh, yeah, TIG is not a wire feed process. So you have to either melt something, um, whether that's like the the piece, part of the piece, if you bend up a, like a little flange or whatever, or... Um, if you add like a, a rod or whatever, I was I was globularing it up, bro. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Globular is like you basically make like a glob, and then the glob gets like heavy, and so it falls off, and it doesn't really like make a nice weld. Um, and it just kind of looks like shit. <laughs> it's, it doesn't. It's just it's hard to control and. Yeah, it's not supposed to happen, basically. Um, spray is just the wire, like, sprays out. It kind of sprays out. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. You can see the wire comes out of the gun, makes contact. It melts, pulling back and making a constant arc gap. And then it crosses it. It's like it splits itself up into little pieces. Um, and then pulse spray is just, like, the better version of spray. Because spray just will, if you try to sp spray weld on a wall, it'll just spray metal all over you. So um, pulse spray will like kind of use a microchip, microprocessor to um, pulse out uh, the current. And then that kind of fixes the problem of it spraying all over you because it's like way more controlled. And it like, it kind of it kind of will actually like cool down the metal so it's not going to just fall off like and still be hot. Um, cold metal transfer is like kind of crazy. Uh, this is this is like a patented thing. Um, this is like so new that you um, not a lot of people can use it because it's still patented. Um, and some people like don't really know even how it works sometimes if they do use it just because it's like pretty complicated. So, you're, yeah, it's, it's like, it's kind of similar to if you're welding on, like, AC, where you're switching the current back and forth. Um, that's if you're doing, like, aluminum or something and you want to clean it. Um, this is also gonna, um, switch from DC, uh, uh, DC electrode positive to DC electrode negative. Where, so it's, it's, you put the wire on the base material, um, you uh, have the the arc form and it gets the stuff hot then it goes all like all the heat goes into the electrode and then it switches it so all the heat goes like into the metal and then you put the wire in the puddle and then it melts like really quickly so <laughs> instead of like instead of having um right like you heat up the metal and then it kind of gets like hot and so it's going to go across in like the hotness it goes across by like put you putting the wire in the part where it gets cold and all of the heat is like going into the um plate and stuff and the metal it's it's more like versatile but 
um, short circuit transfer is the one that's used the most, which is the one that um, you like put it in and then you heat it up and then it goes, it gets cut and then it, yeah, it, it's just like getting like little pieces of metal and you're melting them and putting them on. It's pretty cool. Um, it's hard to do. I, I don't know, people... Okay, this is boring. These are just different types of shears. <laughs> that's not... That's not... It's not useful. It's just saying don't squish your hands. Uh, do I have a chapter 7? This is... Okay, this is just, like, symbols. Oh god. What is this? Have I read this? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Whoa. I've not read this. Let's see. All around worlds. Wow, this is like really a dense image. Finish symbol, contour symbol, groove weld size, depth of bevel, groove. S um, an arrow connects the reference line. The horizontal line is the anchor for which all. Okay. An arrow connects the reference line to the joint that is to be welded. The example of the arrow is shown growing out of the right end of the reference line and hanging down to the right. So, I guess you're just... The weld symbol distinguishes between the two sides of the joint. The side of which... The arrow side... <laughs> the side of the joint is known as the other side? <gasps> you can make a Splatoon weapon replica? Yeah, you should totally do that. Oh, that would be so do Like, with welding? That would be awesome. I will say curves are kind of hard to do with just, like, shaping metal in general, especially if you don't have, like... Depends on what you want to... Like, what machines you have at your disposal. Your tools, I guess, I should say. But it's totally... It's totally doable. The open circle is... The well is to go all the way around the joint. Okay. So filler well is used to being left. Is it is a filler or a building? Oh, 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 I see. So it's only like it's only saying like on one side. Got it. Aha, 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 aha. So this way would be like just oh no, on this one. Wait, but what? Wait, this one says. Oh no no no! Okay, we good, we good, we good. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. You're drawing the weld, but you're pointing like, oh, because you want this side to be the welded side and that side to be... this side to be the shitty side. You're pointing at the shitty side. You know, student accommodation. My dad is an electrician who did a bunch of stuff, so he's got his own tool room. There's got to be something in there. Hell yeah. You should totally, you should totally try it out. Like, also, if you want to get into, um, like, metal work, but you don't have, um, the tools for TIG or MIG, um, you can always do soldering and do, like, smaller stuff with that because it doesn't require, like, any sort of, you know, gases, really, or, and, and you can get a handle for, like, working with, like, two-handed stuff. Because with, like, a soldering iron, you're, like, melting flux, basically. So for this, if you're pointing at the... Why is it... Why is it pointed... Why is it going down if it's... Why is it going up if it's pointed down? Bro, that one's silly. Yeah, that one's like that. Okay, I guess it just... This one's pointed to the good, the good side. Okay, whatever. Bevel grooves. 
I, I guess they just do it upside down. Oh. Yeah. J groove welds. Okay, yeah, so it's it's basically like upside down of whatever it's pointed to. Flare V groove welds? Bro, this man is making things up. Dude, that's like welding tubing together is hard. We have not done any circular things, by the way. Okay, plug and slot. Plug and slot use joint overlapping members, one of which has holes. Both materials deposit in the holes and penetrate is infused with the base med of the cinema more to form the joint. Note, for the sake of graphical clarity, they do not show the penetration of the weld material. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, three, three. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh god, this is- that one's complicated. Okay, we're gonna be done with that. I mean, I'm glad I read it. Okay, pull it- okay. Okay. So, polarity and welding, this is the DCEP DCEN thing. So this is like, this is like a, uh, if you know, if you've done any like electrical engineering stuff, um, or any basic circuits. So we know that like current, conventional current flows with the quote unquote positive charge, but positive charge doesn't really exist. So it makes more sense to think about this, especially for welding, right? As electrons have negative charge. And if there's no electrons, then that's where the positive charge is. So, um, if you have DCEN, that means that this is the D DC, direct current, electrode negative. So the electrode has the negative charge, which means all the electrodes are in the tip of the gun. Or sorry, all the electrons are in the electrode, which is the tip of the gun, which means the tip of the gun is going to be hot because it makes sense that the heat is where the energy is and the electrons are. So yeah, this is for non-consumable. I don't know what it's called, DCSP. Also, it's kind of direct current straight polarity. It's stupid because it has a P in it, but it's a negative process. Um, but this is for so this is for non-consumables because right, it makes sense. Like you want the electrode to be hot if you're trying to melt something. Um, you don't really need the metal you're trying to weld to being hot because then you're just gonna blow holes in it. So. Um, yeah, DC and the electrons leaving the tungsten electrode. We are welding with this as the with the electrode as the negative, and that's DC SP. So gas and tungsten arc weld, gas tungsten arc welding, which is GTA, which is TIG um, or tungsten inert gas. That's what that stands for. So um, yeah, thirty. It's it's split thirty to seventy when you have a heat splitting and welding. Um, not always, but like kind of kind of roughly. It's not 50-50. There's more heat in the electrode. So consumable processes use um it like kind of depends. Um the electrode is like gonna get cut off. There's like a wire. Um so yeah, electrodes are wire feed and stick welding, and so that's like short circuit transfer, um, cold metal transfer, pulse, spray, globular, etc. Um, so in DCEN, they leave the, so in this one, you can kind of do either and you have to talk about like, they keep saying like the penetration of the weld quote unquote, cause when you're welding two things together, your metal can go really far in to like the things you're welding together, or it can go kind of not that far in. Um, and that's about like the heat too, right? So, um, if you have DCEN with the electrode, being the negative where all the heat is, you're going to have low penetration because there's not a lot of heat. It's not going very far into it. But if you have DCEP, which is kind of like the electron electrode is sucking up the electrons from the plate, then you're kind of slit like that's that's slaying. You're getting high pen you're getting high penetration. <laughs> Your analogy was right so far, I think. <laughs> yeah, talking about penetration. <laughs> oh yeah, and then part of the part of the, the we were talking about in class, <laughs> part of the pro the process the post processing of welding is um you have to peen, you have to peen the welds, um, hitting them with a peen, <laughs> um, p e e n, 
which just is a fancy word for a hammer, but they call it like peen peening. <laughs> so, I mean, I, you know, everyone can make their own conclusions. I think welding is... <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit like that, you know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, because what happens with welds is things are hot, right? And when things are hot, they melt and they, they deform. Um, and so what happens is if you take a flat piece of metal and you put a weld right in the middle of it, it's going to kind of curl up. It's going to like kind of squish into the into the middle. So you can do that. You can fix that a couple ways. You can bend the metal back before you weld in the middle of it. Or you can just do it, and then you can whack it with the hammer afterwards, and they call that pe peen. Peening. <laughs> it's, you know... Welding is a beautiful, beautiful thing, I think. <laughs> yeah, DCEN is the shallowest penetration. <laughs> um, if the electrode is... Is negative because all the heat's all the heat's away from the metal. If it's positive, then all the heat's in the metal. So it's the highest penetration. It's fucked up. <laughs> um. Yeah. So reverse polarity or or electrode positive, which is a better. Um. That means that like. You're, you're basically just getting like the metal really heated up. This is for consumable processes. Because you want that, you want that shit, you want the shit coming out of the gun to be hot. Because it's gotta melt. Versus you melting the, the shit that's on the fucking metal already. <laughs> the small, the pinch of... <laughs> I love welding because it just has like the stupidest terms sometimes. Um, SMA is... what does SMA stand for? S something metal arc welding? Small metal arc welding? I don't know, actually. What is SMA? Oh, stick. Uh, yeah, okay. It's like stick welding. Yeah, basically... Uh, magnets help you out here. You just kind of like... Eh, I, you're just slurping up metal. I don't know what to tell you. It's either the metal slurping up metal, and the gun slurping up it, or you're 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 vibing. That's a very bad explanation. <laughs> but yeah, this is how you can weld in an over yourself without dropping hot metal on you. And then AC is used for um uh like welding aluminum because you need to clean it. You need to clean the skin off. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Okay, so sorry. Shielded metal arc welding. Um, this is when you have like something in your other hand and then you kind of weld it. Like you, you're weld, you have the gun, but you also are using your other hand. Um. This is really similar to brazing, also, because you're, you're like adding extra material. It's not similar to TIG. TIG. What's up? Am I gonna stream Friday? Yeah, I'm gonna stream Friday. I'm gonna be streaming math? Maybe physics, probably math. I'd rather do math. Um, okay, these are just bro these are just like numbers um basically this last this last number is just how the like, coding it has these are just fucking different names of metals i'll be at my school's halloween party but i'll join to drown you as a treat i was interviewed um about my stream because uh you know, because uh, I'm so popular and awesome. No, I was interviewed for a for a thing, and I had to explain what Drown Him Friday was. <laughs> They're like, "So, uh, what's what's a uh, Drown Him Friday?" And I was like, 
You know, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little thing we, we have fun here. <laughs> so, oh, gas, gas tongue dark welding. Um, it's tungsten because the electrodes tungsten. And then it makes an arc and it melts this rod. And then polarity, yep, it's DCEN because we want that, we want that rod to be hot. We want that rod to be hot, chat. Um, and then AC is sometimes used because if you're welding aluminum, then you want to clean the aluminum. Um, setting up for welding. Yeah, you just change the cup size. <laughs> change a bunch of different stuff. It's basically like, you know, you, you'll probably get this shit, whatever, depending on what you learn on. And then this is what the this is what this look list looks like. There's a collet body, and you gotta put the collet in with the back end towards the back. Don't put it on backwards. Um, I also every time I start doing TIG, I forget to like put the electrode on the metal, and I just wait there, and I'm like, okay. When is it happening? When is the welding happening? And it takes me like, it takes me like a long time to remember that I have to do this. Cause like, I always press the pedal first. Cause that's what you do for like any other welding. You press the pedal first and then, anyway. I'll, I'll try and do a welding stream at some point where I actually weld, but I am, I am not very good at a, also, I guess I could just wear my welding helmet. So you don't see me. But like, I don't know how I position it. Okay, I think we went through everything. I think we went through everything, chat. Should we start the... Should we start the... Uh... You know what? You know what? Let's say we ball. Let's say we ball. Yeah, okay. Uh, topics that need to be taught for this test. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Sine wave. Should we go for it? Should we go for it? The time limit is 4,000 minutes? 4,400 minutes? 50 questions? Let's, let's say fuck it, we've all... Okay. Okay, modern use inverter technology. Okay, inverters. Oh, I got plenty of time. <laughs> inverters are... Okay. <laughs> Wait, it's three days. Okay, so a transformer? There's transformers, inverters... And what's the third one? I'm trying to remember. Still kick it over this three days long. <laughs> and oh, what's the other one that changes it? I think so. It's either transfer voltage to lower voltage, AC to DC, or hertz to lower hertz. I think it's a. Let me let me think. First question. Um, wait, can I can I skip around? Is that allowed? Oh, let's go. I can skip around. Okay, a longer arc in the in the gene gene. Hello. Um, it's gonna change the amperage. Wait, no. Okay. If it's longer, you need more voltage. It's going to change the voltage, and then you... It's more or less whether you can run a current through it. Like, whether you can run... Um, oops, that's wrong. Because you want to be able to run a higher current through it. But sometimes you can't do that if your voltage is too high, because you're kind of taking away from the current. But it's changing the... It's changing the voltage. Okay, next. Let's see. The following is not a wire feed mode of transfer. Gita! Hell yeah! Tig, baby! We just talked about that. That's because it's only electrode. Everything else is wire feed. We can determine our wattage, wattage by multiplying. Okay, we multiply uh, power is... Oh my god, why can I not write? It's like, it's current and voltage, basically. So, voltage and amperage. Amperage and joules, that's energy. Amperage and hertz, that's nothing. Frequency and voltage, also nothing. Um, okay, 
for wire feed mode of transfer short circuit transfer. Um, let me think. For short circuit transfer, that's the one where you're, um, it's like, it's like MIG welding, basically. I think you can weld in any position. I think that works for all positions. I'm gonna flag that. Where, uh, constant voltage. No. Constant, constant voltage or constant current? I think that's wire feed welding. You'd want. It's definitely not amperage or wattage. Uh, I think it's constant voltage because I think um, I think the other ones are uh, the cons non-consumables are constant current. Uh, they both use so TIG welding and stick welding. These would be constant current, but that depends on if I got the other one. <laughs> it's one or the other. Before welding on steel. You must do what with the tip of the electrode? Sharpen it. <laughs> Break blunt. <laughs> Break blunt. Dip it in molten steel, bro. What the fuck? No. Okay. Oh. I th okay. Before for Gita Gaston Arvon, you must. Oh, okay, wait. Before welding on steel, maybe it is break it blunt. Wait, no. Okay, actually, this is not a very good thing, because when I, I was welding on aluminum, and the tip was super blunt, but I'm not sure if that's on purpose or not. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I think it's- I think it's sharpen it, and then I think the other one is, uh... I think this one is break blunt, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna- we're just gonna fucking t flag every question. Most of the heat, uh, when welding is co What? No answer text provided? <laughs> On the negatively charged side, that's where the electrons are. The EP, uh, okay. The electron positive sign, that means that when everything's in the- When everything's in the tip, that means that you have to preheat the filler rod, I think. But I'm gonna <laughs> just check every question. <laughs> okay, we perform a fillet weld on a T-joint, because it's a triangle. That one I know. Welding with, okay, DC uh, regular, what a regular polarity? No, reverse polarity, that's the negative one. Okay, negative one. This is when all the heat is in the plate. Greatest penetration. Polarity has no effect on weld penetration. Okay, when stick welding with a constant current machine, um, what does arc length have an effect on? If, well, if you have constant current, it's gonna have an effect on voltage. No answer text provided. <laughs> Wait, why does it say currently? What? <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm gonna go back to that too, though. Which of the following comes after the weld sequence? Oh, oh in resistance spot welding. In resistance spot welding, when you're welding, then you have to, like, <laughs> squeeze time. <laughs> cool time. Cool time. I don't- wait. Actually, I don't know exactly what it's called, but, like, <laughs> you squeeze- <laughs> Sorry, squeeze time. <laughs> Online quizzes are hell. A break makes a cut in the piece of a piece of material. True, false, no. <laughs> I'm just losing it over the fact that he couldn't figure out how to delete question question numbers of answers because you definitely don't have to put four. A break makes a cut. Yes, a finger break. Uh, in constant voltage welding, what controls current? St stick out. <laughs> uh, well, the voltage knob is not going to control current either. 
Uh, um, in cons uh, travel speed, I think. But, but actually, it could be stick out if you... It, you just change the length of the arc anytime. What controls current? It might be travel speed. Would cra travel speed control current in a constant voltage welding process? Okay, so for constant voltage, that's going to be a... Um, constant voltage is going to be your uh, wire feed processes. Um, so... Stick out. I don't even know what that means. I think travel speed. Or wire feed speed. Mm, might be wire feed speed. When welding with a consumable SMAW, that's shielded metal arc welding, we use magnetism. This is called the hinge effect. <laughs> the globular. Electron flow is from negative to positive. Yes? That seems like a trick question. I mean, they... I... I... Sure. The following processes are constant current. Okay. So, shield metal arc welding and wire feed are not the same thing. GTAW and SCT are not the same thing. SMA and GTAW are the same thing, and SCT and globular are the same thing. Um, constant current is going to be the um, these guys, I'm pretty sure. But I will mark that. A corner joint, okay. A corner joint is the one... I'm doing it with my hands, you can't see it. This would be a... It's either a groove or a fillet. It's not an edge joint, and it's not a plug weld. Um, I think that kind of counts as a fillet. I could be wrong, but I think it counts as a fillet. To achieve the shallowest pedal penetration. That means we want all the heat in the electrode. Um, that means we want... DCEP, which is the s straight polarity. I don't, dude. The best welding procedure to use when shielded gas would blow away. Well, okay. Small is shielded gas. This is also gas. This one is G Maw? Is this not also gas metal arc welding? I mean, spray doesn't use gas because it just sprays it everywhere. So I'm guessing it's that. Okay. It G-Taw gas tons and arc welding use a consumable electrode. False. Bro, it just uses gas. Uh, shield metal arc welding would be classified under. Okay, not, not soldering, not brazing. Solid state welding, I think. Um, shielded metal arc welding is more commonly known as stick. I think. Would it be stick or would it wait? If it has gas, shielded. Yeah, it's stick. It's stick. But the following is not a wire feed mode of transfer. That's wire feed. That's wire feed. This is not wire feed. Globular is also wire feed. <clears throat> other than welding, uh, what other processes are used to join components? Mechanical fasteners and adhesive bonding. <laughs> no, electrode, <laughs> bro, electrode 6013 is used to blow up the, I don't know that one, I don't know them by name, <laughs> stop, how am I supposed to know these by name, okay, stop it, you're killing me, okay, Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. What size of weld leg will we need for a full strength weld? Where the thinnest one is one, and the tighter, thicker one is uh, 1.5. We have to use 75% of the smaller one. So 0.75. That one I am sure about. 
He's he's killing me. How am I supposed to know these? I think he wants us to look them up. <laughs> he definitely wants us to look them up. Okay. Um. When welding with an F call machine, flux core flux core arc welding. Which knob has an effect on current? What? Maybe the current knob. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it as current knob, but. <laughs> Inverters can change what incoming voltage to what outgoing voltage. Um, inverters change from DC to AC or AC to AC. Yes. Rectifiers. Oh, okay. AC to DC. Yeah. Welding, uh, tra transformers used for welding is, uh, from high voltage to low voltage. Because welding is an inefficient ass process. The leg of the weld is measured from the toe to the root. These are just words that he taught us today. <laughs> Welding is a joint process that produces mixing, no, um, blank adhesion of materials. What? Okay, I think it's adhesion. I don't really know why I would. There are 100 welding as discussed. We talked about this chat, the 100 types of welding. I'm, st I feel like it also may be 15, but I think it's 100. Okay, when using a constant current, what happens when the voltage, when you make a longer arc, the voltage has to go down. So if you have constant current... Yeah. 100, let's go. When using a co What? The current stays the same, it's constant current! <laughs> Oh my god, stop. This fucking... What wire feed mode of transfer is best for welding common thin materials outdoors? Um... Okay, so they're all- they're all wire feed. Thin materials outdoors? Maybe flux cord, bro? I don't know. That one I'm gonna have to check on. Uh, small is stick. Wait, what the f- Bro, it's asking the same questions again. This is the exact same question as asked like two questions ago. Um, okay, small is stick, which is a non-consumable, which means that it uses constant current. I'm gonna check that. Oh, 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 it's like 60% cleaning- no, 30% cleaning the material, I think. 35, yeah. 35 to clean. What effect does increasing the hertz have on the torch focus? Okay. I think it narrows and focuses the beam because with hertz, hertz is like a measure of frequency. So if you up the hertz, it means that it's getting more frequent. So if you up hertz, yeah, it narrow, it would narrow and focus it. Doesn't do anything with arc length. Well, when using GTA on steel, what effect does changing effect does changing the hertz of the beam? Okay, it's not going to shorten the arc. I mean, I have a feeling that it might be nothing. How many, st how many students are allowed in the lab at one time during COVID? I know that one. It's 12. It's not COVID anymore, but somebody asked that question in lecture today. <laughs> he was like, hey, anybody have any questions on the midterm for the three people who took it? And one kid was like, hey, how many students are there in the lab during COVID? 
Um, inverters AC to DC. Oh, how does it um, make it more efficient? I think it's to change to Hertz. Yeah, I think it's to... Ch Wait, by using... Wait, is it the skin effect? Wait, wait, the skin effect. I'm thinking. Okay, that's... Wait. This, is it the, the skin? It might actually be that. I'm gonna... Hmm. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, can short circuit. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure. He, by the way, he said this is open notes. He's okay. Short circuit transfer. This is wire feed. Wire feed is in short circuit transfer. Did they say that's all positions? Yeah, all positions. Okay. Let's see. Wire feed welding is constant voltage, yeah. That one, that one you can kind of get from like doing the rest of this. Stig and, uh, stig, stick and tig um, are constant current, yeah. If we're welding on steel, oh, okay. This one, we need to go to this. <laughs> Sorry, but wait, there is more. <laughs> Jamie, cheating stream? This isn't cheating. He said it was open notes. I have a quote from him. Here. This is what he said. He said... He said, uh, it's open notes. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> also, he asked us about, like, all the different electrode types, so... Um... I do just want to see... It. It's not open notes, that's open book. Okay, okay, fair, fair, fair. Forged? <laughs> Forged? I have other notes, too. Well, okay. He never told us the different types of electrodes in lecture, so it was impossible for us to take that. Um, I mean, he said, he said uh, 1018 steel, so if that comes up. Let me think. If it for steel, I've never I never changed the electrodes because I just like did not need to, or I just moved to a different machine if I changed to change the electrode. If we're welding on steel with uh gas. That's that's TIG then. Hmm. I feel like you have it's he def it's definitely sharpened for aluminum. So this one is definitely you definitely have to sharpen aluminum. Um, I, which I mean, I guess you wouldn't sharpen it for a GTAW then. Let me see. Let me think. Let me think in my big brain. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You definitely don't want to ball it up. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Let's see. The EP, oh, 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 when welding aluminum. The electrode positive, electrode positive is when, wait a second, electrode positive? That's heating the base plate. Electrode negative is. Yeah. Yeah, it's to clean the it's to clean the aluminum. To clean the aluminum. It would be in the base plate. We don't need to heat the base plate though, so we clean the aluminum like that. Yeah, it would have to be volts. That one's just <laughs> kinda currently. 
Okay, this one is... I don't know what word he used for this. It's not, it's not squeeze time. It's either cool time or off time. Although you also hold it because you hold it after it go if after it clicks. I just don't know what word he used for it. I'll come back around. A break. The only thing I can think is like if a finger break. It's a finger break. I think it's to I think it's to fold. Yeah, it's to fold it. It's not to cut it. Because the shears are to cut it. Yeah, I've used like three finger breaks. I should probably know that. Um, okay, in constant voltage, so that's a uh, wire feed. Stick out. I don't know what stick out means. <laughs> it's just inventing words. Travel speed would do that, though. How many more we got? Uh, wait, where am I? Yeah. Let's see. I think it's travel speed. Electron flow is from negative to positive. I feel like it depends. I mean, electrons move. If you're talking about gradients, they do move. Stick out. <laughs> if you're talking about... Like, they'll move to positive areas. Yeah, I don't... But does he mean current? Because current is like... That, oh god, I hate questions like this, because like, what is the question asking? Um, constant current is... Not wire feed machines, so yeah. Stick and GTAW. Uh, let's see, 25? Stick out. Yeah, okay, this one, I, I think, I don't know what fusion welding is, so I'm gonna go with it's solid state welding. Um, 29. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chat, I can't answer these. Chat, I can't answer these. There's no way he wants us to, to know what the different electrodes are. Chat. I need to go look at that table, chat. I don't have it in my notes. It's in this book. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Chat. Oh, which one was it in, too? Was it in polarity? Was it in polarity or was it in wire feed? I think it was in wire feed. I think it's at the bottom of this. No, it's not? What? Where is it? Is it in sheet? It's not in sheet metal. Is it at the end of this? What? Where is it? Where are the different- Is it in joints? What? What? Where is it? It's at the- It was at the very bottom. What the f- Where is it? Hello? Is it the end of this? Was it actually? No, it was not actually that. No, it's not. Oh, hello? Come on. Come on. Oh, here we go. Okay. I think it's in here. <laughs> I'm going insane. I'm actually genuinely going insane. Where is it? Where are the electrodes? Hello? He hello? Hello? Oh, here we go. 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 E13. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. The one thing that I do know is, like, like, if he asked if this was, like, what polarities can this use? That's, like, a different question. But, like, knowing what positions it can weld in is not something that, like, we would know off the top of our heads. Because the third number is how many uh, polarities it can do. <clears throat> um, okay, all three polarities weld overhead. Wait, it has an easy... Wait, but it can do all of them, can it not? I mean, it can do overhead, but it could also do all the other ones. <laughs> Bro. 
Okay, I'll do these electric questions and then, um, is this not playing? Okay. E70240 can weld in what positions? What? Look at this. This doesn't even say this. They generate their own arc. Wait, what? How am I supposed to know if it's that or not? Chat? Chat. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? It doesn't even say it. The f what the heck? This is so sad. This is so sad. I'm going to pass away. I don't know what positions it can weld in, bro. It's just some electrode. They want you to use the trial and error method, but only once. <laughs> yeah, that's true, actually. That's exactly what they want me to do. They want me to try it myself, actually. They want me to go out and buy this electrode. I genuinely don't know. Um, how much strength? Wait, 24. I don't... What? It got so stressed you got gray hair, bros. It doesn't tell me. This is 740. Am I going insane? This doesn't say, like, how much strength. What are these? What is this even? What? Okay. I'm balding. Hey, if I had to guess, <laughs> probably 70? Does it say, like, the first number? Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. So, electrode, yeah, this, 13 polarity, the three polarities it will run. I don't know why it says 13. Position it can weld in. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, wait, we can go back. We can go back. Two. It can only weld in two. Flat and horizontal. What? Wait, okay. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Flat and horizontal. 70. Okay. Okay. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. I was about to be like, bro, I am so mad. Okay, what else have we got? Are there any more electrode questions? I hope there aren't. I hope there aren't. That, yeah, it's just like... Oh, I have some I didn't answer. What did I not answer? <laughs> more electrode questions? Weld a 3F? What is a 3F? Okay, that can weld in any position, so it needs to have a three in there. No, it needs to have like a one? Is one any position? I think one is any position. Well, it's a 70. Did it say? Yeah, one is all. Oh. And then the other one was, can weld a 3F? What is a 3F? What is a 3F? I don't, I don't, hello? Okay, we're gonna skip. 35? Oh. <laughs> this one. What effect? Which knob is an effect on current? The current knob. Oh, uh, this is coalescence, I think. There are... Yeah, I think it's 100.
Mm. If, okay, if you have cost, constant current and the arc length is longer. Well, because, like, in an ideal... The, normally, when you increase the arc length, the voltage will get higher. You need higher... I think I think it would have to be higher. But like with constant current, like because it's like if you have constant power, it doesn't really make sense that you can have constant current. You would just need like more power. Or the voltage doesn't change either. And that's weird. When using a constant current, well, yeah, the current will stay the same. That's... Um, okay, oh, common thin materials, I think you'd have to do globular, it's not going to be globular. Outdoors, I guess, is assuming that the gas will blow away. So maybe this, because this is for thin materials. Yeah. Yeah, stick, that's right. Uh, okay, Gita, yep. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay, when using the process on steel, what effect does changing the hertz have on the beam of the torch? Well... Depending on how you change it, if it changes at all, it would widen it or shorten it or like widen it or focus it. So I guess maybe nothing. <laughs> Cuz like Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be able to widen or, like, you can't choose two answers. So if it can do one, it would also be able to do the other. So that's sort of, that's my that's my train of thought. Oh, let me put on more music. I'll just put on Paper Mario. Oops. Um, okay, yeah, that one. Okay, question eight. Ugh. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna say break, break blunt. Oh, what felt okay? I think this is hold time. It's not off time because you don't. I think it's hold time. Uh, travel speed or wire feed? What can you well, the wire feed itself doesn't control the current, um, and the voltage knob would not control the current, so... Oh, this music is good. <laughs> this question makes me insane. Electron flow is from negative to positive. Yes, the answer is yes. Okay, electrons move. Electrons are negative. So they start positive and go, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to just say yes. That's my gut feeling. Question 25. Small, yes, it's fine. It's all state welding. Uh, that's fine. Um, can weld a 3F? I don't know what a 3F is, is the only thing. Like, is that, like, three feet? <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to weld three feet. <laughs> um... I'm gonna say... <laughs> Should we do a poll chat? Should we do a poll? 
No, I'm just gonna. Uh, we'll say. We'll say. I don't think it can. I don't think it can. <laughs> Pull time. Oh, it's Miss Mouse's theme. I, yeah, why did the current knob not have an effect on current? I don't know why. Okay, last one, last one, last one. Hold time? Is it hold time or is it cool time? You hold it. And then you wait for a little bit after. While still hold- you know what? Fuck it. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Let's see, let's see what I- Let's see what I- what, how I did, chat. Oh, Not the best, but, I mean, it was alright. What? Oh, I must have flipped those. Woof. Okay. I'll take it. Could have done better. That's okay. <laughs> they weren't lying about 4,000 hours. <laughs> Poor it was 4,000 minutes. <laughs> Alright. That was fun, though. So, uh, yeah. I guess I'll be back on Friday with, like, math and stuff. Oops. Uh, math and stuff. So, yeah. It'll be a good time. Um, so that'll be, that'll be physics and math and maybe, probably, probably just physics and math. Maybe, I don't know. I was going to say maybe games, but I don't even know. So, yeah, I hope everybody had a, had a good time. A little, little short little stream, but it was fun. A little bit of welding. Even if I, even if my welding knowledge is not the most, uh, most best. Okay, I'll uh, see you guys Friday. Have a wonderful day, and uh, love you all. Bye.